knows that Jones is quicker in the center of the ring, and down goes Galzaki. Just as he was down in the first round against Hopkins, he's down in the first round against Jones. He does have the ability to come back, and at this stage right now still, the fight is like, to me, a toss-up fight. It could go either way. Down in the first round against Chris Eubank, won the fight. Down in the second round of the ring, then when they go to the ropes. And Kalzaki seems to have his legs under him now, and a greater ability to withstand what Jones throws. Jones lands another right of it. Good body shot by Jones. Kalzaki unfazed. Goes at him with his hands held low. You know, it, it, Roy's punches are much more flashy and much more powerful. But, you know, unless he, he throws really... one punch at a time, and Kalzaki throws six. And that's what I'm saying, and I, I don't know if it, he's ever fought anybody like this. That kind of is not that he's a big man. You know, he's a he's very, very... Well, he's blocking him. Kalzaki taking Jones's punches much better now. And landing when he fires back. Hacking Jones's guard out of the way with the right hand there. I mean, Kazagi is standing in front of Roy Jones with his hands down, showboating, and carrying the round. Well, I would have to give Roy so far this, this round here the way it's going. At this point. Why would Roy allow someone to stand in front of him with his hands down when he can punch is beyond me? Well, that's his way of trying to make Kazaki get tired. Kazaki lands a big left yeah. hand. He yeah, with sharp, clean punches. And, uh, Solid left Joy hand by Kevin. Right things. Bottom line is they have not been effective in stopping the bleeding. And Jones is badly compromised in the ring. This started along about the second round when the swellings thing about making it to the finish line. Well, there's enough blood for this to be the St. Valentine's Day massacre, and maybe Roy is pulling a bit of a Jake LaMotta here. He's really did nothing but enhance his, his respect from the fans still. Yeah, but what would enhance it even more, I think, is if in this last four... Ladies and gentlemen, here at Madison Square Garden, New York City, we go to the scorecards. All three judges, Jerry Roth, Turi O'Connor, and Julie Letterman score the bout 118-109. To the winner by unanimous decision, the fighting pride of Newbridge, Wales, still light heavyweight champion of the world, Kazaki. So it turns out all three official judges gave the second round to Kalzaki, and therefore he wins the fight with an 11 round win streak after going down in the first. And from about the third or fourth round on, it had an air of inevitability. Why? Because Joe Kalzaki simply throws and lands so many more punches. Throwing 985 punches, more than anybody has ever unleashed against Jones in 32 fights, counted by CompuBox. Landing. 344 punches, more than 100 punches more than anyone has ever landed against Roy Jones in a fight counted by CompuBox, ultimately landing at a 35% connect percentage. Dominating the jab category, this has never been a big priority for Jones to try to land many jabs during the fight. It's always been purely a tactical weapon for him, and Kalzaki peppered him with the jab throughout. That's what helped to weaken the left eye and create the cut.